Father, I pray tonight that we'll deal with our hearts and that we would repent today. We're so sorry. So sorry we've held on to this so long. God, please forgive us. Forgive us of our sins. Forgive us of our thoughts. Forgive us for our actions and forgive us of our reaction. We've been mean and stubborn and selfish and stingy. Father, help us. Help us not to be afraid to see ourselves and say, God, I'm so sorry. My heart is not right. My thoughts weren't right. Oh God, I, I lied, I stole, I, I could have helped and I refrained from helping. Dear God, have mercy. You brought us under this thing to talk to us. To give us another chance to destroy the curses. We have wheeled in our spirits to do right and do wrong. The curse, the curse. We're living under your curse. And the only way you said you'd break the curse is if my people, which are called by my name, would humble, um, repent. Oh God, except we repent, we will not be revived. Except we repent, the weight of your hand is heavy upon us. It's heavy on our homes, heavy on our jobs, heavy in our marriages, heavy in our finances. We have broken so many statutes, so many laws, so many commandments. Through great grace, we are here today to hear you. And I pray God, we respond in like kind and say, wash me. Wash me of filthiness of the flesh and of the spirit. Wash me. Wash my mind. Wash my spirit. Wash me, Jesus. I'm trying to work with dirty hands and a dirty heart. And I'm trying to work and my feet are dirty. I'm traveling in dirty relationships and dirty conversations. God, don't leave me like this. Don't, don't leave me under the curse. I repent. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know what it is. I know when it started. I know what I did. I know what I said. I know how I... I know. I remember the day. I remember it well. And I repent right now. Thank you for this thing. I have to deal with my business. Thank you for this thing. I have to deal with my heart. Thank you, Lord. You brought me all the way here so that you could bless me. I'm coming out from under this curse. I'm, I'm coming out. I cursed myself. I cursed my own self. This ain't the seven sisters. This is not Huji. I cursed my own self. I was disobedient. I was wrong. And I'm going to make it right. Whatever I got to do, I'm going to make it right tonight. This altar call is for the saints. Those of you that are brave enough. And you don't care about folk. And you want God in your life. And you're ready to break your own curses because you know. You put the curse on yourself. This is our altar call. Come, come, come. Come, come, come on, honey. That's right, sis. That's right, brother. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. If you repent, he'll bless your church. He'll bless your ministry. He'll bless your home. He'll bless your job. Come on, come on, come on. This is our altar call. This conference is for us. The altar is for us. The horns of the altar is for us. It's us that has to present our body a living sacrifice. It's us that has to say, I'm sorry. Oh, 
Come on, come on. Come on, come on. I put my say
blessed with Jesus. Oh, I deny, I deny, I get on back. Come on, repent. Come on, you gotta weep. You gotta cry. You gotta confess it. It's all right to weep. You at home, honey. The altar is home for the saints. You got a God that loves you. Break your curse. Repent. And when you get a chance, fix it. When you get back to the room, make a call. Apologize. Write a letter. Take the blame. Be guilty. Confess your guilt. And say, Lord, I'm sorry. Sis, I'm sorry. Honey, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I did this thing, this damnable thing. It's separated from me. And God, come on. You gotta weep. It'll bless your ministry. It'll bless your marriage. Sisters and brothers, just this week, somebody went through repentance. And for all this time, they were wondering what the problem was. And all God was telling them to do, if you just repent, they thought, because I'm saved, I don't have to repent. And they said, as soon as they repented and did it God's way, the business start flourishing. They lost millions. The business start flourishing. The family life increased. God said, I'll be against you. You can't break. I can't break a curse when the cursor is God. You can't break it. The only way you can break it is through repentance. And some of you know the stuff ain't right. What's happening in your life ain't right. It's not right. Let's don't let pride and stubbornness stay in our way. You home, honey. Altar is home for us. When we see ourselves, we throw our hands up and say, I'm guilty, Lord. I confess I'm wrong. I repent. Those of you that can't throw your hands up and tell God, but don't say it until you mean it. I know I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Don't just say it, but mean it from your heart. Repentance is not a word. It's an action that happens in the heart. It's a groaning. It's a deep groaning, a deep pant. A great grief that happens in the heart. Sorrow. When we're repenting, we're sorry. Sisters and brothers, for three days and three nights, us and our little bitty church, God told us about repentance. We shut in. You know, they used to have shut ins long ago. We shut in for three days and three nights. We did nothing but repent. We didn't go to sleep. We didn't bring stuff to sleep in. Because God said, just repent. Sisters and brothers, after we got up just to eat breakfast the next morning, because we didn't been up 24 hours, we were eating together, just reading the word. Chapter by chapter, aloud together, so we would be on the same spiritual level at the same time. Right at the breakfast table, the Holy Spirit hit and one of the saints said, REPENT! Now we had did it all night. People fell out of their chairs and we went to weeping and crying all over again. God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I offended you. I'm sorry I'm wrong. I did it wrong. I've been religious. I've just been walking over it, just going to church. I'm sorry. 
we wept and cried and went from the breakfast table back in the prayer rooms again and stretched out and wept. We wept and wept and as soon as we would take breath enough for hours confessing everything we could think of. You can't be loving God holding back stuff because you're afraid somebody gonna know. You can't come. No, no, no. When it's repenting time, it's time to strip. When God say it's time to strip. Because his word precedes his judgment. Since we start repenting about everything we can think of. I'm so sorry I was slow for I could have read more. I could have fasted more. I could have given you more time. I had took some of your television. I took television. God, I repent. I shouldn't have said that I was too quick. I was too mouthy. I acted too hastily. I repent. I'm sorry. But the tears would not stop flowing. Because God's heart is broken about us right now. It's broken because we are holding a lot of stuff. Junk. And we don't want nobody to know we had to repent. I don't care who know. I repent every day. I repent now every day. When I get up, I repent for all my sin. I name I, God. I repent before I go to bed at night. When I get up, I say, God, thank you for another day. Forgive me. Forgive me for all of my sins. You can't come to Azusa under this covering talking about the curse and hold this stuff. No, honey. Come on, break it on down. Weep before the Lord and tell God, I am sorry. You got, I am wrong. And I don't care who knows I'm wrong. It's you I got to meet by myself. Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna step up for me. I gotta meet you by myself. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the evil in my spirit. I'm sorry for being pernicious. Repent. Repent. You have a wonderful opportunity to step out from under the curse. Throw your hands up one more time. And this time when the choir sings and they minister, you repent like you know how to repent. Talk to God for yourself. If we could pray it off, we would. We can't. This is something you've got to do for yourself. If you know you got to kneel, kneel. If you know you got to weep, weep. But get God's attention. Let your heart break. Let your spirit pant. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. You may never get an opportunity like this again. You may not be this sensitive tomorrow. You may not be this sensitive. Go for it while you can. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, we got great, we got a great work. We got a great responsibility. You want to use. You want to use us. We got this world to save. And you can't use us because our hearts. Our hearts are not right. Oh Father. Oh Father, I'm sorry. Oh Father, I repent. I've been evil. I've been too talkative. Come on. Come on, honey. Come on. Come on, let your heart break. Let your eyes weep. Let your spirit groan. Uh, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, sis. Come on, brother. Get in touch with him. You may not be this.